Hey everyone! Okay, so I hope everybody is doing well. Um, I am outside today and this is a bit of a noisy street, but I'm gonna try to do the best that I can to record this and hopefully it is loud enough because I really want to make this video. Um, it's a video I've been trying to make for a while and you know recently we're going through all these changes on the planet. Um, you know there's a lot happening right now and a lot of it really comes down to choosing from a place from choosing to live from either fear or love that's kind of what we're going through as a collective unit right now and one of the main things that i've been working through is a lot of my own personal fears which is a um, pivotal part of your awakening journey is looking at and reevaluating a lot of the fears that you formulated throughout your life and learning to um, release them, release the stories, release the beliefs, release all these paradigms that we have held onto for so long. So a big thing for me, which is what this video is going to be based about, because I know it's a big topic for a lot of people, especially when it comes to awakening, and that is food paradigms. So I'm somebody that, you know, struggled a lot with disordered eating patterns, binge eating patterns and things of that nature, which are all things of the past, you know, I don't identify with, but we can still learn lessons from that. And I'm just sharing my experience to help others as well, just because when we come to awakening, we can still look at food from this distorted view that isn't always resonating from a loving place for ourselves and more from a fearful place. So recently, um, a lot of my old beliefs came up around food, and then I started to realize how a lot of the choices that I made were stemming from fear and not from a place of love, or um, just even like compassion for myself. And, um, and I realized and I realized over the years how that translated in how I went, how I approached food when it came to the awakening journey. And then I kept myself in boxes that were more and more limiting and thinking that was what was required for me to, you know, awaken more or, you know, vibrate higher. You know, there's a lot of different food paradigms that are out there that I fell into as well that spoke on particular things that you think are required which really aren't um, and it was just having an aha moment of how many things that I was vibrating from a place of fear that I needed to overcome and start to work through which is kind of what I'm currently doing because the more that we start to um, elevate our consciousness and we're starting to choose things from a place of love we're not looking at um, some of these food beliefs or food paradigms, they could be rooted deep in fear. Or like if you don't eat such and such food, you're gonna get sick, or you're gonna get this illness, or there's only this amount of safe foods, or I can only eat fruit, or I can only eat a salad, or I'm gonna like, something's gonna happen to me, or I'm gonna get candida. You know, there were so many beliefs. There were so many beliefs that I had that were just needing to be unraveled and reevaluated. And even just the choices of food that I was selecting weren't even congruent with my body type and my energy signature. So that was another revelation that I had to come to terms with. And you know, this is also revelation that revealed to me just working with my cosmic self as well. And just more and more coming to the surface how like deeply embedded some of those fears can go, which can essentially, you know, keep your path not moving in the forward direction as you would like. And it's sometimes, and sometimes it's the thing that's right under your nose, you're not even realizing it. And you know, it's different for everyone. I'm just sharing my personal experience, just because I know when people come to awakening, they automatically think, oh, I have to eat alkaline, I have to eat only raw foods, I can only eat fruit, I have to detox, I have to fast. And I'm telling you, like, these things are great if you feel genuinely called to do them, but don't think, oh, it's required to do these things to ascend or awaken or expand to a new version of yourself or to level up because these things are really not required you should, but it's it's better to embrace 
more of things that are freeing for you and things that really resonate with you at a soul level and things that are challenging old beliefs and old fears that you had. So if you feel like you know you can only eat raw food because everything else is like toxic or it's dangerous, that may be something to reevaluate because that was um, some of the direction I was headed in when I started to fast more. It's like, oh my God, all food is just now bad. I just can't eat anything. And that may be um, some, if you're getting to that point, that may be time for you to reevaluate some of your beliefs. Like, is it really serving you to put yourself in this restricting box that is not required? Or um, is this something you really genuinely want to do? Or is it because you have filled yourself with so much um, beliefs that aren't healthy are dogmatic things that you really think are required but they may not be and you're not willing to look at it and um, try to question those things and see it from a new perspective. So that's something that I've been working through the past couple of months and of course it's definitely not an overnight thing. Every single day you know I have to make the conscious effort you know in every moment that you know what I'm going to choose from a place of love and not fear. And of course there's nothing wrong with eating healthy, treating yourself right, wanting to nourish your body well but when it gets to an extreme level like you feel like you can't do anything but like fast all the time then there's something to reevaluate with your beliefs your core beliefs when it comes to food and I'm only focusing on food right now um, because that's just that was a major fear that I wasn't really looking at that I needed to evaluate in order to you know advance more on my own journey and of course it's different for everyone but I just know food is a popular topic especially with spirituality and by all means I'm not saying oh we'll just go out and eat junk food or whatever it's just about learning your body and learning what your unique energy is like and for me I had to question a lot of that and start to go back to square one and starting to add back things into my diet that I thought were oh too toxic or didn't work with my energy and yeah that included like animal products or even um, things like eggs and stuff that actually do work for my energy a whole lot better than just eating sugar all the time are like things that were keeping me too spiritually open and ungrounded that just led to a lot more attachments that really were not serving me so these are all things to evaluate like are you really checking in with yourself and seeing if this is the best you know food paradigm you want to attach to or if you're doing it because somebody outside of you told you oh it's the best and it's the right way or it's the only way so there's no such thing as the right way or only way you know there's always going to be resonance so it's always what you resonate with and what you resonate with today may not be what you need tomorrow so it's always good to just to stay open to your beliefs i mean open <laughs> to different perspectives and understanding and see where your soul is truly guiding you and that's like the greatest lesson that i have been learning in these past couple of weeks because there are so many times where i was like oh i don't know if this is right let me go on another fast or let me do another juice cleanse but i'm glad i just listened to my soul and try to work my way out of some of these limitations that I placed myself in because probably wouldn't have ended too well for me and that's kind of why I want to make this message just because um, sometimes you can get really really dogmatic and you're not willing to look at your behavior and you can just get way more health problems or way more issues down the road are so spiritually ungrounded that you know your body is like um just more open to the astrals you know I don't want to put so much out there but open to the astrals and stuff which is not healthy so um, that's just a major thing that I learned and another thing that I've learned is just learning to truly honor my body and just really asking myself what I need in each moment and sometimes you know that may just be a cookie that may just be something that I originally thought oh I couldn't eat or it's too processed or too this and just allowing myself to have some of these foods from a place of love and enjoying the experience because that's kind of what we're transitioning into choosing more freedom and more love and more expansion so that's also a good indicator that I'm learning like if anything's feeling too restricted or too closed down or too tight um, that's not something that I want to continue to resonate with and I want things that are more 
with my resonance that I'm wanting to step into or wanting to um, embody more and more in each day. So embracing each day, trying to release the food fears and just dogmatic thinking that I don't really resonate with has truly helped me just um, embracing more love and compassion for myself in every food choice. And um, when I meet and what I mean by that doesn't necessarily mean that, oh, I'm only eating like the healthiest food ever. I'm just trying to see like everything that I do eat more from a place of love, not from like, oh, I must do this for a certain reason. And of course, I still want to be healthy, but at the same time, I want to have more freedom with my food choices and not thinking everything's going to make me sick or everything's just toxic or everything is just, you know, damaging my body if it's not like certain foods. And that's another thing I wanted to touch on as well, just learning how much our mind creates a lot of our health issues. That's one thing that, that was also being revealed to me. And knowing that not everything can be healed through diets. You know, a lot of it really is our beliefs, our thoughts that we're having, our intention around certain foods that we're eating, and what we're thinking about when we're eating these foods, our emotional states. All these things are factoring in to whether we're creating health for ourselves or whether we're creating disease, which is why so many people the healthiest diet on the planet and you're still getting sick because we're trapping ourselves in so much fear about wanting to be like perfect or so health conscious that it's still making us sick or your immune system is down you know are you still having all these other health crises that you haven't been able to resolve and it's like now I'm actually starting to feel you know things starting to switch around it may be slow but I'm starting to see more gradual changes and just like with my skin and on my overall appearance and my health so I know mindset is a big portion of this as well and um, just working through that fear consciousness is to me has been like priority for um, for now and that's something that I wasn't thinking mattered so much in the past but I'm realizing how that's a better model towards moving towards your um, journey than um, focusing on you know the right foods or make sure you're taking all the right supplements or doing all these little tedious little things instead of working through um, the mindset the beliefs around certain foods the paradigms you're attaching yourself to and why are you attaching yourself to them like starting to question more of those beliefs because we really are creating either health or illnesses for ourselves you know regardless of what we're eating whether you label it as good or bad or toxic or not toxic you know like all these things can still influence us in different levels depending on um, the beliefs we hold and the stories we tell ourselves so I thought I would just share some of that today just about food paradigms and awakening just because um, although it's a beautiful thing to want to eat healthy take care of yourself and you definitely should do those things but also honoring your unique expression you know if you're being called to eat certain things or remove certain things for your diet or maybe add certain things for your diet and you're getting that inner resonance that inner knowing definitely honor that and just allowing yourself to have more freedom in your life because that's what this expansion is about it's not about creating more rules or more things to judge yourself for or are trying to attach like more labels to our identity or our self-worth you know, if we eat a perfect diet or eat this way you know we have more self-worth like well these are all things we're trying to dissolve out of our consciousness and have that self-acceptance and compassion for ourselves and the only way you can really get through that is if you're willing to look at some of the stuff you used to believe challenge it and learning to work through it and letting those stories and those beliefs go and embracing everything that is which is a part of this oneness model that we are stepping into and it really is something that we're have to be like really conscious about because this is something that um, it's very easy to fall back into that fearful place if you aren't acting from it in every in every situation or every experience that you're going through in your present life so that's pretty much all I want to say in this video I hope all you guys are doing well staying safe and always remembering to choose love and I will see you guys in the next one bye